A battery bypass will let us run this Baofeng handheld transceiver off a general DC source. We're going to start with a cheap off-brand AA battery Baofeng adapter and modify it for our purposes. To do this, we're going to add a barrel connector and run that directly to the connectors for the battery. Once we do that, we'll be able to, as you see here, connect our DC source and run the radio off of that power directly and not have to worry about the battery. We will start by simply drilling a hole of sufficient gauge to match our barrel connector in the bottom of the battery adapter. The plastic wall here was relatively thick, so it did take a couple minutes and some patience to get through there. Once we have that finished, we'll use the connector itself to tap threads directly into the battery adapter. So we'll get our pliers and just force that through a couple times and then uh, we'll apply the washer and lock nut to the back end. This was a little more fiddly than you might expect. There was very low clearance on the back side of the, uh, the battery adapter, so it did take some, some patience and a couple tries. Now, what we were expecting to be able to do was just solder these leads uh, directly to the battery terminals. That did not work. Uh, we took some files to it. We thought maybe they were just plated, uh, get through the plate and maybe the solder will stick uh, as you'll see here even after filing those down uh, we did not have any any joy um, soldering those leads to the terminals we then tried some additional flux and rosin uh, again no no avail there so we eventually just give up and we try to use some spade terminals of course we don't discover this until after we've cut the leads so we're going to go ahead and solder the portions we have cut off back on and then we'll add some heat shrink tubing uh, back to it. And of course our laboratory assistant smelled the solder in the air and came out to help us apply that heat shrink tubing. So you see here that we did have some help uh, applying heat to the tube. And uh, once that was done, they also helped us apply the spade connectors to the end of the leads and helped us uh, crimp those down. A couple of extra sets of hands always helps uh, holding those in place and getting them locked in. So you'll see we'll do that for the positive and then the negative lead here. And then once we have those nice and solid, we're going to go back in with the pliers and we're going to apply a 90 degree bend that's going to simulate the terminals that were originally on the battery pack. It did take a couple round of adjustments to get those just right so that they would fit in place and the angles would match neatly. Once we're satisfied with that, we're going to go ahead and attach it to the radio and see what we have. This particular power supply couldn't keep up with the drop after a transmission, so I wouldn't recommend this for general use, but for testing here, you can see that we have a live radio. So there you have it, a easy, cheap Baofeng battery bypass. Tune in later to figure out why we thought we needed to do this to start with. Until next time, this is A Little Loud Labs, back to net, 73.